Hey, so can you use a VPN in order to access TikTok? Yes, you can. And in fact, I'm doing it right now. A lot of what TikTok shows you is based on your location. And in some countries, TikTok is either fully banned or partially banned. So using a VPN is a really easy way around this. What a VPN is going to do, it's going to make it seem as if you're somewhere else in the world when you're using the internet, regardless of your physical location. VPN stands for virtual private network, and that's basically what it does. It virtually, when you're on the internet, makes it seem as if you're somewhere else. Now, on top of that, it's also going to make your connection to the internet safer. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. But first, I just wanted to show you what a VPN looks like. So this is ExpressVPN. OK, this is one of my favorite VPNs. I use it pretty much every day. And this is what the main part of it looks like. It's very simple. All you have to do is click on this location bar and then a window opens up with all of the countries that you can connect to. As of now, you have 105 countries in ExpressVPN to connect to. So you do have quite a lot and they may be adding more. A lot of times VPNs add more as time goes on. But right now, 105 is pretty decent. I personally haven't needed more than that. And all you're going to do is just search for whichever country you want to connect to. So let's say I wanted to connect to Japan, right? So we have Japan right there. I can click on that. You can also go to this arrow if it shows up. A lot of bigger countries or uh, more popular ones have it. And you'll get more options within that country. Right now for TikTok, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to click on Japan, Tokyo, and it just a second or two, I'm going to be connected. Now, if you want to find out more about ExpressVPN or any of the other VPNs I'm going to mention in this video, there will be more information and links in the description below. But just to show you how this works for a second, if we go back over to TikTok. So before I was connected to the United States and I was getting content from the US. Now, if I refresh the page because I'm connected to Japan, I'm going to see content from there instead. So this is a really easy way to influence what TikTok shows you. But more importantly, if you're in a country where TikTok is banned, this will let you access it. It'll also let you download the app from either Google Play or the App Store, because now those places, the App Store and Google Play, will think that you're in a country where TikTok is available. Now, the most important part about all of this is choosing the right VPN. And the reason is because there are a ton of of VPNs out there. Some of them are free and some of them are paid, but a lot of them and in particular, the free VPNs are going to be slow. They won't work very well. You won't have a lot of places to connect to and you might even have a cap on the data that you can use it with. So it'll be limited to like two or 10 gigabytes per month and then you're done. On top of that, if you are trying to access TikTok from a banned country, then you want to make sure that your VPN does not keep any logs because technically a VPN can keep track of who you are and what you're visiting on the internet. So they can see that you're going to TikTok and if you're in a banned country, they can keep that information. They can report it to the government or to other agencies. And that's probably something you don't want. So make sure that whichever VPN you're getting has an independently verified no logs policy, meaning that they don't keep any information about their users. And that's been verified by an outside independent third party company. And to make it easy for you, I've tested a bunch of different VPNs and I found what I think are the three VPNs that cover every base over here. So there's ExpressVPN, the one that I showed you before and the one that I like the most. This one right here is just super simple, gets the job done. It's very fast, very reliable. But if simplicity is not what you're looking for, you want a lot of different features, you want to be able to do a lot of things with your VPN. Then there's NordVPN. This will also do what Whatever it is you want from a VPN, pretty much. It has things like specialty servers and double VPN, which will connect you up to two different VPN locations before getting you over to the internet. You have add ons like Threat Protection Pro, which is a mini antivirus. There's a lot to NordVPN. If you want to find out more about how to use any of these VPNs, including Nord, there will be full in depth reviews in the description below. Lastly, if you're on a budget, then I would recommend Surfshark. This is a very high quality VPN, but at the same time, it's not that expensive. The premium plan of Surfshark is going to be cheaper than the basic plan of a lot of other VPNs. So overall, I would say that these are the top three best options out there. Any of these VPNs will get you access to TikTok. It's more a matter of what's your personal preference and what you're looking to get out of a VPN. And if you want to try any of them out, I did manage to get a hold of discount links that will save you some money on each of them. And you'll find that in the description together with those reviews. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.